Hello, I'm Corey Gagney. I'm a customer service advocate here at RBI Corp and Shelter Tree. Um, I've been in the arborist ind industry for about eight years. It started when I was 12 years old. So today we're going to be doing an install on a Protos hard hat um, with a 10R Cena communication systems in it. First step, obviously, is going to be to open up your box. Now there's gonna be two layers to this box. Your top's gonna to have your boom mic, your button mic, and you're also gonna have your brain. Once you set, open up this second flap, you're gonna have your battery, you're gonna have your speakers, and you're gonna have your accessory kit. Now what comes in here is all the, the 3M double-sided stick tape and Velcros to install the brain onto the helmet and also the ear muffs. So, what I usually do before I start to build the helmet is I like to lay out all my parts and pieces. So this is going to be the main component to put the brain onto the helmet. Also in here, you're going to have your boom mic covers with your speaker adhesives. I have my brain, my air muffs, and my speakers right there. So what you want to start to do before you get into the helmet and start adding all this stuff in is I usually start with the air muffs. Now on the protos at the bottom of them you will see that there is a tiny little pinhole right there. That's where you would drill your holes to run your wires from your speakers into the air muffs. So you can either use a cordless drill, a wire drill, or a dremel like we have here. Now I start by drilling the holes where those little holes indications are. That's the bottom of the muffs. So now we'll start by drilling the holes. Once you feel the bit sink through, the second wall of the air muffs, you're going to then pop the covers off, remembering which one's right and which one's left. Now what I like to do is some people will use the drill bit to clean these out. I put a pair of scissors in here and I trim off the excess. It just makes for just a little bit clean, better clean up at the end. I usually try to trim off the little excess melted plastic. And then I will take my drill and get that gunk out of it. All right. Now I clean up around the earmuffs. Any extra little slag, I should say, from the plastic. And do the same with the other side. So the wires, they don't chafe off the excess plastic or any sharp edges. You want to have a nice clean beveled over edge so the wires don't get frayed or they don't get all chafed up. And I'll also clean out this other side of the muff. like that. I will then take the foams out and I will go into my boom mic cover package and I will get out, I call them teardrops, teardrop shaped stickies or velcro I should say. And put those right into the middle of the muff. Also, if you want, just to clean up a little bit more, you can get a file in there. Get a nice smooth edge on. Now, from there, I will get my speakers that get installed into the earmuffs. Make sure you remove this protective plastic coating. Stick them on like so, run the wires out. Now on the inside of these protos, 
you can see that there's a line for the shape of the air. You always want to make sure you have that lined up. Now insert that into there, right over the speaker. Find my earmuff covering. Make sure the wire doesn't get pinched in between the two walls of the earmuffs. Click. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Move the film. Place like so. Clip just like that. Now we have the base part of the helmet built by having the speakers installed. Now, usually what I go on to next is to install the brain. This is where all your main wiring comes in, or I should say your main wiring harness. It's gonna be four different plugs. This is usually, it depends on what side you like it mounted on your helmet. Usually we like to put it on the right side. Um, so this longer wire would then run over to the left speaker. This would be for your right speaker. And this is for your battery. And the red one's always gonna be for your microphone. And they should be labeled too on them. So now I will go into my double stick package. And there's two different Velcros. There's more of the fuzzy Velcro and there's more of the stiff Velcro. On the brain side, I usually put the stiff Velcro Line that up and stick it on like so. Then I will adhere the fuzzy side to the stiff side of the Velcro, peel that off. And now where I usually run my brain is on the back side of the helmet. It keeps it nice and clean out of the way and it um, also keeps potential bumping of branches and really anything, you know, when you're working out into the trees. Stick this on like so, and this will always be removable since it's on Velcro. Now, I keep my air muffs up and out of the way. I am then gonna go into the inside of the helmet, take the chin strap, pull it to the side, take out my internal padding, like so. Now, with your long wire, what I like to do is bring it up and around, and it is gonna be tight inside of these helmets, so you just gotta kinda of work with it a little bit. I like to bring it up and around the suspension system. Run it all the way around and through. Catch it from the other side. Next, we are going to add dielectric grease to the connectors so we don't get any corrosion from water and or any now with these style clips they actually wire. have arrows that show you exactly where to go and when you lock them they actually clip they have a locking mechanism inside now usually what we like to do when we are doing the installs is add a piece of shrink tubing around these and shrink it on down so it keeps everything nice and protected now since that side is now connected I'm going to get one of my stickies. I'm going to secure this wire right up front so it doesn't get pulled from one side of the helmet or to the other. So it keeps it nice and balanced. Or I should say slack equal on each side. So now that that's there, I'm then gonna take my clip for my AMF on the right side, bring it on up and through which is right here. Now I'll get my right side air muff, add my dielectric grease. I will lock these clips together. And like I previously said before, we like to install the shrink tubing onto these. Set that back down inside. Now, next step, we'll go on to the battery. We will take off this plastic backing. This is more for exchanging if you're riding a lot of motorcycles or exchanging batteries from helmet to helmet. Usually we just get rid of those. And now what I figured out with these protos is running the battery up to the front to keep it cleaner and not having any obstruction for these air muffs to come sitting back. Now what I'll do for my rectangular piece, 
of my 3M tape. Pull the red side off because it's always the most difficult. Get this on pretty equal. Then I will go ahead and pull this white backing off. And we'll find right up front underneath the visor carrier to fit right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's going to sit right up in this lock. Now, what I'll do to double secure that is take some heavy duty Velcro, cut off a fair enough piece that'll fit over the battery, and also will attach to the helmet. that stuck there. Now I will then take the wire from the battery, run it through the suspension component of the helmet. Again, it's a little tight, so you gotta work with it. I will come up to the back side. Right on the other side of the brain is now my plug. I will then add dielectric grease to the brain side of the battery, the battery wire. Connect my two connectors together to snap, just like that. Run this back inside, and that's the battery. So now we have, we got the air muffs installed. We have the battery installed. Now the next step is the boom. Or I should say the boom mic. You like the boom mic just a little bit better because you can swing it down in front of your face so you get that full voice effect. Now there is also, this button mic right here that can sit up in the front lid, which also picks up your voice just as good as this, but this one is just a little bit better. You can get that full aspect of your voice. Then take your sticky tape right here at the front of the helmet of the suspension system that comes around for your forehead. You're gonna wanna place that Velcro stick right there. Just a nice happy medium balance. You would then Velcro your boom. There's a layer of Velcro on the back side of this boom. Stick that onto the front band. Now what we like to do to put extra security is put zip ties around it. Now run my zip ties up and around the main pedestal of the boom. Get it nice and tight. And the same thing, I will go up a little bit more on the boom. So there's two points of attachment on the boom and also the pedestal itself. So there's less of a chance of it coming off and or breaking off in the process of you doing it, either, you know, tree removal or pruning or running machines, whatever whatever you are doing with this communication in the protos. So now I will take my boom mic wire, run it back to my other red clip, not forgetting about my dielectric grease, connecting these two together so they click. I will then run the wires back down inside just to keep it nice and clean. Don't forget about a little foam boom mic cover. Add this on. And now also what we like to do is take a zip tie, wrap it around that foam boom mic. Now it's just gonna keep it from coming off. Yes, the kit does come with a spare, but once you lose two, you're gonna have to buy more. <laughs> so we then clip that off. Now this sits nice and flush up inside and you can also pull it down to your mouth. 
Now this helmet's pretty much tied up, but what I like to do is I'll add my foam insert back in. I will then take another piece of heavy duty Velcro, cut off a smaller square, and then I will get the wires almost in a group just to keep them from flopping around inside the helmet, tighten it up just that much more. Doesn't come loose. Attach this. Get that brain wire nice and tucked away. Leaves is a nice clear path for that air muff to come swing back. Since the protos are integral and the air muff sit up inside, what I like to do is press the positive in the Cena button. Make sure I have all my connections together. Now that it's beeping, I will then shut it off. Goodbye. Goodbye. Both air muffs are now working. So now that I know all my connectors have been placed together correctly and all my wires have been run cleanly, so it's all out of the way. And you can see all I have on the outside of my helmet is the brain and everything else is internal. So just like that, that is a Protos install with a Cena 10R.